Wherever you're riding, we'd always recommend wearing a helmet. They won't make you indestructible, but the protection they do offer easily justifies the price and the need for minor post-ride hair adjustments. When you're choosing a helmet, your main considerations should be fit, ventilation and weight, although looks will be another important factor for most riders. Depending on which part of the world you're in, helmets stocked by reputable shops will conform to a recognised safety standard, so you're guaranteed a certain level of protection no matter which model you buy. That said, your lid can protect you properly unless it's a good fit, because if your head moves around excessively within the shell during an impact, then the forces can't be absorbed as intended. When the retention system is properly adjusted, the helmet should feel snug and stay in place when you shake your head. Make sure you try the helmet on in a good position, avoiding tilting it backwards and exposing your forehead. Most models come in a couple of different sizes, and it's easy to size yourself up by passing a tape measure around your head, just above the ears. However, we'd still recommend trying a few models on, as internal shape differs between manufacturers. Some tend towards a more pronounced oval shape, others typically designed for rounder heads. Spending more means you'll tend to find lighter materials, better ventilation and more easily adjustable retention systems. But you shouldn't necessarily expect a top-end helmet to offer greater protection. Exotic materials will bump up the price, but allow greater and better ventilated designs that still meet the same safety standards. Straps are designed to keep the helmet in place in the event of a fall, so you need to make sure they can be adjusted to route around the bottom of your ears and sit just below the chin. Keep an eye out for excessively long straps that will flap around at high speed and try to minimise the overlap with your ears, as this can cause rubbing and pinching. In addition to straps, most helmets use an adjustable rear cradle for finer adjustments to fit your head. These usually feature a rotating dial or ratchet-based system and the more precise the level of adjustment, the better. Vents are there to keep your head cool, especially in situations like climbing on a hot day where you're making maximum effort with minimum airflow. Air enters through the front of the helmet, passes over the head and exits out the rear, in theory. Good ventilation brings benefits all year round, though in winter you may want to wear something under the helmet so the cold air isn't coming into direct contact with your skin. Hopefully, you'll never need to know this, but once your helmet suffers a significant impact, you'll need to replace it immediately. Even if you can't see any damage, the structural integrity of the materials your lid is made of may have been compromised. Some suppliers offer subsidised replacements if your lid is damaged within the first year or two of ownership, which, if you're particularly accident prone, might be worth having. The helmet market is crowded, so there's a fair bit of innovation going on, even at the lower end of the scale. Some helmets feature integrated rear lights for making sure you're seen on lit roads after dark, with others opting for reflective areas. Elsewhere, typically at the higher end, you'll find designs that integrate seamlessly with the brand's range of eyewear, with some even using magnetic fastening to hold the glasses in place. Helmets designed for use in both road and mountain bike riding will often feature detachable visors and ventilation that's been optimised to work well for both high and low speeds. There's more of the same coming soon, so don't forget to click subscribe and let us know what you think of the series so far in the comments section below.